Indiana is on the attack. Audi tells dealers EVs are the future. We have a juicy Model 3 interior rumor. And more new countries are getting Teslas. Here are your Tesla tidbits for February 1st, 2017. Credit to both Electrek and the Indy Star for this story. It's been out there for a bit, and it's so ludicrous that I at first didn't even want to dignify it with coverage. But it's picking up steam, and so I bring you the story of the Indiana legislature considering a bill that does not name Tesla by name, but there is certainly only one company that it will be affected if it passes. Representative Ed Soliday introduced House Bill 1592 that bans manufacturers meeting certain criteria from selling in Indiana. A few of these criteria are offering for sale exclusively electric vehicles since July 2015, never using a franchise, and has established at least one permanent warranty repair service center in Indiana for each licensed location in Indiana that sells new motor vehicles for the manufacturer. So in other words, Tesla. Meeting these criteria means that the entity in question, Tesla, can no longer sell vehicles in Indiana when the sooner of the following two criteria are met. Reaching cumulative annual sales of 1,000 units to the public in Indiana, or six years from the initial date the entity obtained its initial license to sell vehicles. This bill would take effect on July 1st if passed. Considering I'm sure that Tesla is able to sell 1,000 cars per year in Indiana, this would basically mean a ban on Tesla sales beginning then. Even if this is not the case, Tesla received its license in December of 2013 and would best case be only able to sell until December of 2019. The good news is that a similar bill was introduced last year as well, but was quickly modified beyond recognition only to establish a committee, a study committee related to the original bill. It seems they're at it again, and a valid question seems to be what this study committee found, if anything. It seems Indiana fans are now holding their breath again and hoping for a good outcome. Electrek also has the story of Audi of America President Scott Keogh telling the National Automobile Dealers Association, better known as NADA, that they'd better get with the program on EVs. From his keynote, quote, All this fright about where am I going to get a charge is going to go away extremely fast. The technology on this front is moving along at a staggering pace. You're going to be looking at a marketplace in the next 7, 8, 9, 10 years where for 30 or 40 some brands their entire business is going to be battery electric vehicles. Vehicles, end quote. All right, Scott, tell us more then. And so he did. Quote, we have to look at alternative channels and start to make money. These cars are going to have to be fixed less, but you're going to have a host of opportunities around the battery in helping the customer in their home. You have the customers, you have the scale, you have the marketplace presence. You need to become the one-stop shop on electrification. You need to be a part of their whole electric ecosystem, end quote. Seems like the manufacturers are gearing up, but will the dealers actually follow? It's extremely interesting to note that the Audi of America president is telling its dealers, quote, these cars are going to have to be fixed less, end quote. That is a great endorsement for EVs, my friends. Jalopnik has a specie spicy rumor on the HVAC system of Model 3. Anyone that's obsessed over, uh, I mean, looked carefully at Model 3's interior on the prototypes easily spotted two things. Firstly, no instrument cluster. And secondly, no HVAC vents. It's the latter of these two that we may have some information on. If you look carefully, you can see a seam running the length of the dash on the prototype. Jalopnik's source claims that this seam you see is actually a length of the dash vent that would output air in much the way the Dyson bladeless fans blow air. I'm hoping we can file this rumor under truth, as this would be a really slick way to handle the HVAC, and definitely an eye-catcher in my book. Lastly today, continuing the trend for this week, Inside EVs has stories of first deliveries in two more countries. Tesla has begun deliveries for Model S in Taiwan and Model X in Hong Kong. The Taiwanese market is a completely new market for Tesla, while the Model S has already been in Hong Kong for some time. Unfortunately for Taiwanese customers, there's no timeline yet for Model X. However, at least those customers do now at least have a Tesla option where they didn't previously. Congrats to folks in both countries on now being able to purchase Teslas. Check out the links to today's full stories in the show description. If you get some value out of the show, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. Thanks so much to my super patrons, John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, and Cookie UK for their support at the $10 plus level. If you have nothing extra to spare, it's no big deal. You can still support the show for free with positive reviews and by spreading word of the show. I appreciate your reviews and word of mouth immensely. 
If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. That's all for today. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.